these dimensions really do exist and you want to travel them. You want to be able to see yourself through different dimensions of realities. <laughs> and you will. You're in luck because with this video, it's my intention to tell you exactly how I've been traveling through different dimensions of reality, what it feels like and how you can do it yourself. Welcome to Vibes and Frequencies. I'm Nathan and I make videos to help people to be the most powerful expression of themselves. And in this video, we're gonna travel some dimensions together. All the dimensions that we think of as being somewhere else to travel to, while they are somewhere we can fully immerse ourselves in, they're actually here right now in the present moment, which is where we actually find them and we can tap into them. For example, we've got the dimension of thought forms right? This is the dimension where thought forms exist. We've got the dimension of feeling. You've got the dimension of time. You've got the physical dimension, right? What is known as the third dimension. We've got so many different dimensions and they're all here right now. <laughs> As you can see, all of these dimensions work together to create your awareness of your experience, the experience that you are having. So what we're going to do in this video is to mold and change the shape of our experience to match the dimension of reality that we want to experience for ourselves. So in this next part of the video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what it feels like to travel these dimensions from my own experience, and then I'll tell you guys how you can do this for yourselves as well. So what does it feel like for me to actually travel through dimensions? Here's the thing, some of it's pretty extreme, pretty wild, and pretty far out there, and there is no English <laughs> to describe it, right? Like there's not really language that you can use to describe certain kinds of feelings, certain kinds of places and experiences that are so outside of human, right? There is dimensional travel to this extent, but there is also a much more simple truth that is taking place that can be very simply and practically explained. What does it feel like to travel through dimensions? It feels like you are changing. That is what traveling through dimensions feels like. It feels like you are growing and expanding in this certain kind of way. Traveling through dimensions, it's almost like there's this kind of light that has this kind of gravity that is pulling you towards it. And it's just really pristine. And it has this feeling of, I don't know, just such pure beauty. Um, <laughs> and, it, and, it, and it's growth and it's change. And I believe the reason I'm the reason I'm saying this is because I personally believe that we are all going through changes in our lives constantly. And this is also echoed by the fact that we are constantly traveling through dimensions. We are always traveling through dimensions. It's not actually somewhere to go to, right? Like I explained, it's already taking place right here right now. What it feels like is it feels like you are growing and changing and evolving. It feels like spiritual spiritual type information, which spiritual is the word I use for it. Somebody else may choose a different word. For me, the spiritual energy is just the best. And when you're traveling through dimensions and when you're traveling through life, we are constantly experiencing things that help us to grow to continue that. So on a very extreme level, let me say this a little bit more practically. Let me gesture to this whiteboard that has nothing on it, all right? Listen, whiteboard. <laughs> Have a cool picture right now that I'll demonstrate. <laughs> On a very extreme level, what it feels like to travel through the dimensions though, is it feels like I'm having complete loss of Nathan sometimes. Sometimes I'll find myself being somebody completely different. Like it's it's been so different. Sometimes I've been women, I've been men, and these aren't past lives that I'm remembering. It's parallel dimensions of who I am. And when I visit these dimensions of experience and I'm experiencing myself and so reality is different because I'm in such a drastically different dimension of reality, I'm literally not being Nathan anymore. I'm being somebody else's person, right? I'm being a different person. It gets really wild. <laughs> that, that can feel totally earth shattering and has completely changed the way I'll ever perceive anything because... I don't believe that these were past lives of me. I believe that those are literally existences right now. And I just am traveling to dimensions that are so much higher that it's so it's getting so much closer to the all is one, this consciousness that we're all sharing, right? This God, right? <laughs> and, and it's just, it's really intense to experience that and to feel 
what it's like to actually be and believe that you are somebody else and then come back to this and think of this as who you actually are. It just, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And there's no time in these places either. It's crazy. <laughs> so that's how drastic and different it can feel. It can really feel like you are becoming somebody else because you are. You're traveling to a different dimension where things can be so different that our fragile ego self that we think is so big and so massive and we think that it's who we are, right? And this is what we're always pushing out into the world. This ego does not exist in these other dimensions in the same way. You will step into a completely new ego sometimes. Somebody else's, it might, it's somebody else's ego. It's like alien experience, you know? <laughs> and, you, and you feel like you're them. It's, uh, it's pretty wild, you know? It really, really proves how multidimensional we are. So it can go from that extreme to simply just feeling like things are changing, you know? When we give it our full awareness, you will feel the power of change and the teleportation and the shifting that we are doing on a constant day-to-day -day basis. Every single moment, you are 100% somebody new. You are shifting through a multitude of dimensions constantly, aligning yourself with your current and present experience. Think about how cool that is. <laughs> and that's what it feels like. Imagine being aware of how drastically different things are every single moment. That's all it is. Basically what it feels like is like you've lost your story of this is who you are. When you're traveling through dimensions, you can't cling to this story. There is no identity anymore because you are so malleable. You're literally like Plato shifting through a multitude of other realities. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what it feels like. So in the next part of the video, I'm gonna explain to you methods that you can use to actually do this. How do you travel through dimensions and how have I been doing this? This is how, okay? <laughs> Emphasized here by this line. Here's what you need. You need a, oh geez. <laughs> Hold on. That's not what we need. <laughs> you need a vehicle. You need a vehicle. To travel through dimensions, you need a vehicle. <laughs> now, what kind of vehicle are we talking about? I'm not talking about a car or some kind of like spaceship though it could be because it's your imagination that will determine the vehicle that works for you. Your imagination is ultimately what is seeking out into the universe of ultimate possibilities and dimensions. Your imagination just kind of floats around and who you are aligns yourself by making choices. This is what I'm going to decide and choose to believe. This is my perspective. This is what's going to work for me. That's how powerful you are. You get to choose what works for you. Here are some of the vehicles that work for me. <laughs> Now, I do not recommend that anybody do this uh, because this one goes pretty far out. Sometimes people have hard experiences. Sometimes people aren't ready for the drastic change and how quickly this comes on. I really recommend you do your own research, but I'm gonna share it for the sake of being honest. Psychedelics, boom. I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Psychedelics are a powerful vehicle to travel through dimensions. The vehicle is what you are essentially giving permission to and allowing to give you a transport to the place that you are trying to go. I give a lot of permission to psychedelics. Many people do, and they just work pretty intensely. Now, here's the deal about psychedelics. It is the quickest, fastest, easiest way to dimensional travel for the very first time and to see that other dimensions exist. I'm just gonna be honest. It's the quickest, easiest way. Does that make it right? Does that make it wrong? Again, your imagination floats around. You get to choose what's right and wrong for you. Psychedelics <laughs> are the quickest and easiest. But here's the deal about psychedelics. A lot of it is like a journey that just kind of electrifies you out and shows you all these things. It's like you're watching a very immersive and sensational movie with crazy shit going down, <laughs> right? But you're, you're watching. There's only so much that you can really do because you're really just a witness. You're just bearing witness. You're, you're just perceiving it, right? You get to watch the whole show. And then afterwards, you can feel moved by the movie that you saw and make minute changes in your life based on how moved you were by this experience, right? So meditation is the next vehicle that I want to discuss. If you choose meditation to be your vehicle, this is the one that tends to take people usually some time to work with. Now, this can be really dependent on you. For example, I'm not saying this to brag, I'm just saying this because 
I want you to understand that if you are not meditating yet, that you should really go for it because you never know. For me, after two weeks of committing myself to meditation, I was traveling dimensions, all right? This is, this is just how it's worked for me. For a lot of people, you might find that this one takes some commitment. It takes an actual decision and statement that I'm going to practice this and I'm going to do it. Here's what's cool about when you can dimensionally travel using meditation. What's cool about this is it becomes less like a movie that you're just bearing witness to and more like an experience that you can really feel the presence of... <laughs> How do I put this? You can really feel the presence of God. You can really feel the presence of the universe. And you can really feel that you really are that presence, that that's who you truly are. And so when you're vibrating at that kind of level and you're really feeling that, you can imagine that the kind of information and dimensions that streamline into you that you're able to perceive are taken to a whole nother degree. <laughs> And you can actually reach out and touch things in this state. You can do crazy kinds of magical things, not just watch the movie. You see what I'm saying? So again, I'm not dissing this. I'm not saying this is better. I'm not dissing either. At the end of the day, you choose your vehicle. The power is what you choose. That's how it works. The next vehicle method that works for me is actually crystals. Now, my intention, my beliefs, and this is the same for you, your intention and your beliefs and your power of choosing are what ignite possibilities in our experience. It's what ignites day-to-day -day opportunities and things in our lives. And <laughs> you can arc your intention, your superpower of intention and energy and the direction that you create in your life. You are so powerful, it is ridiculous. You can direct that into your crystals and use your crystals to amplify everything that you do and make it bigger. If it is in alignment with the permission and choice that you make, you are going to be incredibly lucky. If you are somebody that has resonated and chosen to believe that crystals have power and you are experiencing those and you have that unlocked in your dimension of reality, you are so beyond lucky because you get to work with something as simple as a crystal and you get to love and care for it and go around the world with it and just feel so connected and you get to experience the beauty that it promotes in your life. Lucky, that's what you are. <laughs> That's what we all are to even be here in the first place, to be the dimensional travelers that we already are, already constantly shifting through a multitude of dimensions. Whoa. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like life is so freaking cool and the universe is so beyond magical. Magic is all around us. Dimensional travel is just literally just something that we're already doing. Like we are time travelers. We are dimensional travelers. We're looking for all of this magic out in the world when it's all right here. <laughs> it's all right here, right now. That's how we do these things. We bring it to right here and right now because that's where it is. We don't bring it to here right now. We just realize that it's right here, right now already. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Nathan. I do make videos three days every single week. That's a lot of videos, yo. So make sure to click subscribe if that's something you want to do. And I'll see you for the next video. <laughs> In the meantime, you can check out this video right here. It's all about how I enter the dimensions of my crystals. You might like that one. Until then, I will see you soon. Have a good one.